Hello and welcome to another CNRL Fast Holiday Workshop. My name's Kel. And my name's Ita. And today we're going to show you how to make some fabulous string art. You will need timber board, nails or tacks, string or wool, a hammer, tape and a template. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to find the templates that are to be found linked into the video description and print them off. And then, Ada's got hers as well, you're going to tape them onto your piece of wood so they're nice and secure. So Just with some masking. Hmm. So you just find the centre. Or you can have it off centre if that's oh, what you yeah, like. True. Okay, so just don't need much, just needs to stay there while yeah. um, your hammer. There we are. So the template has dots on them, that's exactly where you're going to be hammering your nails in and that's what we're going to do now. Yeah, so we're finished, so we've just got to peel the paper off. Okay, so we're going to show you two different techniques you can use um, on the hearts. So tell me about your technique. So I like to just go from the heart. So I choose whatever speaks to me and I'll just do a random pattern. Okay. So I'm going to actually have something completely different. Okay. I'm going to use the red cotton and I'm going to use the nail in the middle to radiate the string out to have a different pattern. So oh, that sounds lovely. They're going to be great together. Okay, yes. let's do it. If you're using this technique, the first thing you're going to do is tie a knot into the middle. So I'll do that now. That's a little bit fiddly. You can always ask mum and dad to help if you need some help. Cool. So we've got our knot just about there, yep. Okay, and I'm going to come up to the first one. I might go around, I think. Around the next one. All right, so I'm nearly finished. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do. With that little bit underneath, I'll have to snip that off and then I've got to make a knot. So this is a little tricky. Let's see if I can do it. Nice and tight. So I'm doing it randomly, but you still want to have the hard shape, so... Yeah. I'm just... Gee, I love those colours. So that's super random. Yeah, it's beautiful. But it still looks like a heart yeah. because you have those, you have that... Um, that pattern there yeah. Yeah, with the nails. You could also make your own pattern. You don't have oh, to yes. use this pattern. If yeah. you've got another shape, you could do the first letter of your name. Ta-da! So now we're going to try a circle. And we might try some curve stitching. So we're going to do straight lines, but it will curve. So hopefully it will work out. Let's okay. have a go, Kel. Let's put the nails in to start with. Yes. So choose a colour for your first layer wrapping around every seventh nail. And then go around again to make two rounds. Now 
Now choose a second colour for the next layer and wrap it around every fifth nail. And do that again. While we were making our nail art, we discovered a pattern. If you use an even number of nails, but skip an odd number of nails when you are wrapping the string, you will make sure you use every nail. Also, the more nails you skip, the smaller the circle in the middle. For instance, I skipped seven nails to make the smaller circle and five to make the larger circle. Join us next time where you'll be making these incredible illusions. You will need some textures or pencils, some scissors, some glue, some tape and some paper.